Our goal setting has seven steps. You can use these seven steps for the rest of your life. Step number one is decide exactly what you want. Most people don't do that. Only the top 10% of people are absolutely clear about what they really, really want. What do you want financially? What do you want for your health? What do you want for your family? Be very clear and be specific. Remember, your subconscious and your superconscious mind can only work to help you achieve a goal when the goal is clear. Step number two is write it down. Only 3% of adults have written goals and everyone else works for them. Write it down. This is called a psychoneuromotor activity where you actually write the goal down physically on paper and it activates all your mental powers. It programs it into your hard drive and then your subconscious works on it 24 hours a day until it's achieved. Once you write it down. Step number three is set a deadline. Set a very clear, specific target to aim at. This acts like a forcing system for your subconscious and your superconscious and your superconscious minds. And what it does is it motivates and drives you forward to achieve that goal. So set a deadline. If it's a big enough goal, set sub deadlines and break it down into parts and then keep thinking about the deadline. Step number four is make a list. Make a list of everything that you could think of that you could think of that you could do to achieve that goal. And keep writing until the list is complete. If you think of something new, write it on the list. There's something wonderful about breaking things down onto a list. Henry Ford once said the biggest goal in the world can be achieved if you just break it down into enough small steps. Some people ask the question, how do you eat an elephant? And the answer, of course, is one bite at a time, but you've got to divide it into bites. Step number five is to organize the list. How do you organize the list? You organize it two ways. First by sequence, what is the order in which you have to do things? And second of all, by priority, what is more important, what is less important? What is less important? And remember the 80-20 rule. The first 20 of things you do in the achievement of a goal usually account for 80s of the results that you get. Now you have a goal broken down by sequence and priority and you have a plan. A person with a goal and a plan can accomplish extraordinary things, sometimes beyond their imagination. Mm. Step number six is to take action. Do something, move quickly. Do something immediately to achieve your goal. And step number seven, and this is the great one, do something every day. Do something every day that moves you towards your most important goal, whatever it happens to be. So. Here's the exercise, and this is what's gonna make it all come to life for you. What you do is you make a list of 10 goals that you would like to achieve in the next year or so. Write them down on a piece of paper. This may take you about three to five minutes, but it could change your life. Then you look over your list of goals, and you say, if I could only achieve one goal on this list, which one goal would have the greatest positive impact on your life? Now, whatever that goal is, put a circle around it. This becomes your major definite purpose. This becomes your focal point. This becomes your point of concentration. Now you can work on the other goals on the side, but this becomes the goal. And you do something all the time on this goal. You write it on a clean sheet of paper. You set a deadline. You make a list of everything you could do to achieve the goal. You organize the list by sequence and priority. You do something immediately, and then you do something immediately, and then you do something every day. When you wake up in the morning, you think about the goal, and all day long, you think about the goal. And I can promise you this, if you follow the seven part process, plus the 10 goal list, plus the selection of one key goal, your life will change in the most profound ways. You will start to make progress that's completely beyond your current imagination. Write out your goals. All goals have to be in writing, by the way. If you don't have your goals in writing, then they're not ready goals at all. They're merely wishes. And as they wish is merely a goal without any energy behind it. Have your goals in writing. Write them out very specifically and clearly. And then do this every single morning. Rewrite your major goals in the first person singular as though they already existed. Rewrite your major goals every single morning. Now, this should take you about two to four minutes, maybe five. You can do it all in a paragraph. For instance, if your goal is to earn $50,000 a year every single morning, right? I earn $50,000 a year. 
If your goal is to be excellent in real estate, say, I am an excellent salesperson in my field. If your goal is to weigh a certain number of pounds, if your goal is to enjoy a certain kind of life, write down your major goals in the first person singular as though they already existed today, every single morning. And then every single evening, take about five to 10 minutes instead of watching television. Just before you turn on the television, say, wait a second, I've got to review my progress. And sit down and review what you've done in the course of the day and say, what have I done right today? What have I done right? That's moved me toward my goals. The second question is, what would I do differently if I had today to do over again? Those four steps, by the way, include rewriting your goal each morning, reviewing them in the evening, and asking yourself those two questions. What did I do right? What did I do that moved me toward my goals today? And what would I do differently if I had the day to live over? If you'll ask yourself those two questions in the next 30 days, you'll accomplish more than you accomplished in the last six months. This is the most incredible method I've ever seen. I learned it some years ago. Just rewrite your goals every morning because every time you write your goals down, you're programming them into your subconscious mind. When you program them into your subconscious mind, you set up a field of vibration within your brain and this law of attraction based on this field of vibration attracts into your life people and circumstances that harmonize with your dominant thoughts. Everybody here has had the experience of starting to read about a subject, think about a subject, become interested in a subject, and suddenly you started to attract into your life books, magazines, articles, conversations, people, opportunities to expand on that subject. If you've had that experience before, what you do is you create a force field, which we cannot explain scientifically, but it is a field of vibration that goes out from you and attracts back into your life everything that you need to realize your dominant goals. And everybody's had the experience of writing down their goals at the beginning of the year and opening up the envelope at the end of the year and finding that 80 of the goals have been accomplished. Have you ever had that experience? Absolutely remarkable, isn't it? The only problem with goals is that we don't set enough of them and we don't set them highly enough. You can have anything you want. Imagine you could have anything that you want. Anything that you can hold in your mind on a continuing basis. You can have anything that you are crystal clear about wanting and are willing to pay the price to get, you can have. So clarity is the key. Be clear about what you want. Be clear about what you have to do to get it. Be clear about your vision. Be clear about your vision. Be clear, speak, walk, talk, and act the last thing before you sleep and the first thing in the morning. Think about and visualize your goals as realities. See your goal as though it already existed. Your subconscious mind is only activated by affirmations and pictures that are received in the present tense. So see your goal vividly just before you go to sleep. See yourself performing at your best. See the situations that you're facing working out exactly the way you want them to. Especially see yourself living the kind of life that you want to live. See yourself for the kind of relationships, the kind of health, the kind of car, the kind of home you really want. Mm. Visualize just before you fall asleep at night. And the first thing you do when you get up in the morning is to feed yourself mental pictures. These are the two times of the day when your subconscious mind is most receptive to new programming. Just before you fall asleep and just when you wake up. Well, the law of cause and effect is very simple. What is the cause? It's your belief your absolute clarity about the goal that you want. What is the effect? It's the goal coming into your life. The law of beliefs is what you believe in. You believe that you must ultimately achieve this goal unswervingly, and that belief creates your reality because you begin to see the whole world differently. The law of expectations. You confidently expect that everything that happens is part of a plan to help bring you towards your goal. The law of attraction. What do you attract? You attract people, ideas, and circumstances into your life to help you achieve your most important goal. The law of subconscious, the law of correspondence. Your outer world corresponds to your inner world of goal setting. The law of subconscious activity. You continually program your subconscious mind with a clear picture of your goal and your subconscious mind arranges all your words and actions so that they fit a pattern consistent with achieving that goal. 
And the law of habit is that you think about your goal repeatedly over and over again until it becomes a habit to wake up in the morning and think all day about your goal. So all you need to do to raise your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and your level of attainment high is to have an absolutely crystal clear goal and work on it every single day. Now here are two things that you can do all day long to keep your mind and emotions focused on your goals and financial success. First, listen to audio programs in your car when you drive around. Continue feeding your mind with a steady stream of high quality educational, motivational material that moves you towards your goal. Sometimes one idea you hear on an audio program can change your life. Two, imagine no limitations. When you look at life, the starting point of setting goals is for you to throw off all your mental limitations and let your mind roam freely across the entire universe of possibilities. Your primary job at the beginning is to allow yourself to dream big dreams and then determine exactly what it is that you want out of life in every area and in every dimension. Decide what's right before you decide what's possible. Imagine that you could be or have or do virtually anything that you really want to as long as you know exactly what it is first. Make up a dream list. Temporarily imagine that you have no limitations of time, money, knowledge, contacts, experience or education. Imagine that anything you can write down is possible for you. Remember, anything that you can clearly define and crystallize on paper is possibly possible if you want it long enough and hard enough. And if you're willing to make whatever efforts and sacrifices are necessary. There are no unrealistic goals, as we say, only unrealistic timelines. The very act of writing your goals down sets the whole universe to work in your favor and activates all the mental laws to help you. In fact, many people have had the experience of writing out a list of goals on New Year's Day putting the list away and not referring to it again until the end of the year and then finding at the end of the year that 80% of the goals have been achieved, sometimes in the most amazing ways. The very act of writing big challenging goals causes three things to happen. First, your self-concept improves and your self-confidence goes up immediately just by writing down some big goals. The act of setting goals requires self-confidence and simultaneously builds self-confidence. Having the courage to write down what you really want improves your self-image and raises your self-esteem. The action itself generates a feeling of greater personal power and ability. Second, when you write down goals, you tap into your mental and emotional powers. Goal setting actually gives you a burst of physical and mental energy. Your heart rate and your respiratory rate speed up. The very act of goal setting is inherently exciting. Sometimes we say we're feeling listless. Make a list. It's true. It's like stepping on the accelerator of your own mental and physical potential. And if you do this every day, write your goals down over and over. The results can be amazing. Finally, commit your goals to paper. The very fact that you have committed a goal to paper dramatically increases the likelihood that you will achieve that goal. Your mind is structured in such a way that you cannot write down a goal clearly on paper without simultaneously having the ability to somehow attain it. The most important question is always how badly do you want it? And here's an interesting discovery. There's a miracle that takes place between the head and the hand. It's when you write something down, psychoneuro, motor activity. It actually helps you to understand it with greater clarity. It stimulates creativity, enables you to see it. The fact is that becoming a goal setter, so you're right, setting and working on goals all the time increases your likelihood of success by 10 times. Fact is, the very act of setting goals, writing them down dramatically increases the likelihood of you achieving them. It gives you tremendous clarity and it also activates a whole series of other powers that you don't know about. Your ability to set goals and to make plans for their accomplishment is the master skill of success. This ability developed through practice will do more to assure your eventual success than anything else you ever learn. The 1090 rule says that the first 10% of time that you spend planning and organizing will often account for 90% of the value of the entire process. 
So here's a powerful but simple method for setting and achieving goals that I've learned over the years. First, decide exactly what you want. Clarity is the starting point of great success. And second, write it down in detail and set a deadlines. If set sub deadlines if necessary. Hired, determine the additional knowledge, skills, and abilities you will need to achieve your goal and how you're going to acquire them. Fourth, determine the obstacles and difficulties that you will have to overcome to achieve your goal and organize them in the order of size and importance. The fifth key to goal setting is to determine the people and groups and organizations whose help you will require and decide what you will have to do for them to earn their assistance. And sixth, make a detailed plan broken down by activity, organized by priority and sequence. What is most important? What must be done first? What must be done before something else is done? And seventh, perhaps the most important, is to take action on your plan immediately. Do something every day to move you toward your most important goal. Get going and keep going and keep going. At each stage of your life, whenever you're confronted with the need to make new choices, to set new goals, sit down and think through them using these seven steps. Always think on paper and always be willing to revise your plans when you get new information. Keep working on your plans until they're complete and then execute them boldly. Psychologists recently have concluded when I started teaching 25 years ago that as you feel yourself moving towards something that is important to you, your self-esteem and self-confidence go up. You feel happy. You feel powerful. You feel strong. You feel a surge of energy and elation. You're more creative. All of your best qualities emerge. How do you blot out all the negatives in your life? You think about your goal whenever Say, you think of something that makes you unhappy or negative, you swing your thoughts, often like a searchlight, and you think about your goal, and you talk about your goal, and you work on your goal, and you work on your goal, because your mind can only hold one thought at a time. And if you're totally determined to achieve a single goal, and you think about it, and work on it every day, eventually all the other things will fall away.